guys, good morning and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. I tried to show you a little bit of my morning again. I just went to the gym and had a workout. I do CrossFit, I do a little bit of like a power lifting program within that. I didn't get a lot of good filming. I did want to, I am usually alone in there, but there was a lady in there and I didn't want her to think that I was filming her or anything and it's so small that it was really hard to not get people in the shots. So all I was able to get is like me on a mat in the corner. <laughs> so. I don't know, hope that was at least a little bit interesting. I did take a pre-workout and then I drank 24 ounces of water, like always. I tried to get in 24 ounces of water between each meal of the day. It's just kind of, it helps make sure that I get all the water I need down and I do track it with Water Llama to make sure that I remember. Not really good at drinking water, I wanna be. Try my best. All right, so I just like cleaned my house, did all my morning things, fed my cat. She's eating right now if you can hear that crunchy sound. I was on the phone with my friend for a while and now it is a little bit after 10 and I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl. Don't mind all the dishes everywhere. I made fondue last night and it was like every single dish I own. So I'm waiting for things to like finish drying so I can put them back in the cabinet farther back and then put those back in front. It's like a, it's a kerfuffle. Anyway. My smoothie bowl is going to be one frozen banana and frozen blueberries. I'm going to add this greens powder from Amazing Grass, a scoop of creatine, this is from Naked Nutrition, and a scoop of vegan protein powder, this one is from Orgain. I'm also going to put in some ground flax seed, <laughs> add some water and blend it up. This is pretty much exactly the favorite post-workout smoothie bowl recipe that I just put up if you want to watch that video, but the toppings are going to be different. All right guys, look how pretty. Uh, let's see, I've got some frozen mango, pineapple, and strawberries. I have a fresh kiwi, and then kind of like a deconstructed version of the granola that I had in my smoothie bowl recipe. So it's like coconut flakes, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds. Very exciting, I love making pretty smoothie bowls. I, I like to spend a lot of time making sure that my food is like aesthetic. It's just something that makes me really happy. I like it. I'm gonna eat this and I'll come back at some other time. I don't know, I'm trying to eat intuitively right now, so just like eating when I'm hungry and stopping when I'm full and uh, trying to go easy on myself because sometimes I can get a little bit aggressive with my macros and making sure that I'm like perfect. So trying to be a little bit more human and hopefully show that and pass that along to you guys. So I'll see you when I see you. Alrighty, we're back in between last you saw and now we went to Starbucks. I'm with my friend now. Last night we made fondue, so I've got like leftover cheese and it's made from sweet potato, white potato, carrots, cashews, nooch, stuff like that. And I'm just gonna make macaroni, gluten-free pasta from like Aldi. I'm gonna microwave this, pop it with some stuff, and that's it. Do you like pumpkin seeds? Yeah. Well,
Hello again. Uh, I ate dinner around 7.30. It's 8.30 now. I just took my friend home. She was with me all day today. I did her hair and my boyfriend is out for the day because he is going to dinner with some people from his work. So we decided to try a vegan restaurant that's near by us. We got some like Kung Pao style um, soy curls and then like this rice noodle salad with like um, barbecue skewers, I don't know, uh, some Thai tea and some spring rolls and it was very good. I probably won't eat anything else today, I'll just like sip on the remaining water that I need to drink. And before I sign off, I just wanted to mention that I know I've never included like a restaurant in any of my what I eat in a days because I had always strive to make them perfect and have completely perfect clean days. I was gonna say that's not my life. It quite often is, it mostly is, but I don't want people to think that it's not okay to occasionally eat junk food or give yourself a little bit of a break or not obsessively count your calories. And I say that because I do that constantly. I'm I have been obsessed with my macros and calorie counting and like let my fitness pal run my life and it's just, it has not been great for me. So I'm trying really hard right now to just relax, go with the flow, eat food that I wanna eat, still care of course about nutrients and getting enough um, protein and, and vitamins and macronutrients, all those things, but you know, just letting life happen and being okay with it, not obsessing over it, not being um, totally crushed if a day isn't perfect, like the other days that I've shown you. And yeah, just trying to be happier when it comes to food, because um, sometimes it really does like overwhelm me. And as far as like eating raw, a lot of my what I eat days are raw. I do say that I like to eat raw in the summer. It's just so working out that it's a little bit easier for me at this current time to not eat raw. I do, however, still eat mostly raw. I definitely have all raw breakfast every morning, which is like that smoothie bowl. Um, again, if you've seen my other what I eat in days and talks about raw, I don't always do certified 100% raw. Like the protein powder I use probably isn't certified 100% raw. I keep it very, very close to that, or at least the level that I'm comfortable with that mainly has to do with price. I like certified raw almond butter and regular almond butter. Uh, raw almond butter costs a hell of a lot more, so I'm not really too worried about it. So it's just stuff like that, little substitutions, but yeah, generally raw breakfast, probably a mostly raw lunch. All of my meals end up being mostly uh, veggies anyways. Uh, I like to eat like that. Um, it makes me feel very good, but again, I'm not trying to be obsessive over it. I'm just trying to make sure that I get um, nutrients in. I get a lot of food that is good for me that's gonna make me feel good. Not necessarily because it is not very calorie dense, which would have been something that I would have obsessed about in the past, or am trying not to obsess about now. I'm definitely not perfect. I'm really working on this though. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a fun idea or two out of this video. I do plan on in the future making a fondue video. I did just try making vegan fondue for the first time in my life uh, yesterday. I never even had regular fondue before, but I feel like it was very successful. I made a cheese sauce. I made bread to dip in the cheese sauce. We had some broccoli with it and some Beyond sausages. And then for like the dessert portion, um, we had some vegan chocolate chips melted with like some coconut oil and we dipped strawberries and Dandy's vegan marshmallows in it and it was awesome. So I can definitely make a recipe video for the cheese and all that. So let me know if you're interested and that worked out really well for me today. I have just enough left over to make macaroni for lunch and that was awesome. As always, please check out the links in the description. There is some information on my Patreon as well as my other social media sites. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.